is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, foreign assistance works best when we accomplish with treasure what we would have otherwise had to do with blood. We have 68,000 Americans in uniform in Afghanistan, and they are helping our NATO allies and the Afghan government to fight Al Qaeda and the narco Taliban. The narco Taliban rests and rearms in Pakistan, in Quetta, and the frontier area. This legislation gives us leverage and resources to encourage Pakistani resistance to the Taliban, the murderers of their own prime minister. By weakening the narco Taliban, we improve chances for the Afghan government to expand its authority on both sides of the border. Now, last year, I served with ISAF's Regional Command South in Kandahar, Afghanistan, and we had regular reports of men and material moving from Quetta and Spin Boldock into Afghanistan to attack Afghan and NATO positions. This legislation enables us uh, to work on both sides of this border against the narco Taliban. I commend our ranking member, Ms. Ross Leitman, and Chairman Berman for making this a bipartisan bill because that's the way our troops would want it. When the Taliban shoots at our guys, they are not shooting at Republicans or Democrats. They're shooting at Americans. And we are responding with unity. We have no failure option in Afghanistan. If we ignore this problem, we risk repeating the mistakes so clearly described in the 9-11 Commission report. And with North America's tallest building located in Chicago, I believe it is our duty to absolutely prevent an attack from Pakistan, Afghanistan from ever happening again to the people of the United States. And I thank both of our leaders for bringing this legislation to the floor. Yield back. Gentlemen, yield back the balance of time. Gentlemen from California.